If you're like me and staying in an apartment, artificial grass is probably the most important thing that you need when you are getting your new puppy to have a designated area where they can go potty. But with so many different choices to choose from, how would you know which would be the best for your apartment, what would be the best for your puppy and what would also be the easiest to maintain? <laughs> That is what today's video is going to be all about. My name is Denise and welcome to the Dog Mom Diaries. Let's just start off by saying that you don't have to have the most expensive artificial grass because at the end of the day it's just a party area so there's no need to go to the most expensive place to have the best for your puppy. You can get that on your doorstep at the local store. Tip number one is you wanna make sure that you measure the area that you need your artificial grass for. Now, this is quite simple and you'd think, okay, yeah, of course I need to measure it, but a lot of people don't know that and I honestly almost forgot before my boyfriend reminded me, listen, don't you wanna measure the area that we need artificial grass for? Because I was so excited, I was just about to get out of the house and buy some grass. Anyway, so make sure you guys take measurements so that you know how big is the area that you need artificial grass for. Also, go get a couple of quotes. Now, now, there are, I don't know what kind of stores are in your area, maybe you have different stores than what I have, so that's why it's very important to go and do some research, get a couple of quotes, I would say two to three quotes, so that you can see that what is the average price that the artificial grass goes for, because the first place where we went to was super overpriced, and I thought, guys, I don't have thousands of rands just lying around so that I can buy artificial grass that's only for my balcony, I don't have that. So I only found out when I went to the second place that that is very overpriced but I had no standard of pricing so I had nothing to compare it to so I just thought that was the normal. Tip number two which would be the most important one is guys you need to make sure that the grass that you are getting is pet friendly. What I'm meaning by pet friendly is firstly it needs to have the little holes at the bottom so that there is drainage Tip number three is if you can make sure that the artificial grass is under some shade because what happens with the artificial grass is because it's technically plastic and there's a couple of different materials it gets really really hot in the summertime so if it's exposed directly to the sun it can get really warm and might be a little bit dangerous for your puppy to go out. Tip number four is make sure you guys get cleaning aids that has ammonia in. Now, what I mean by that is you can go Google which of the household cleaners has ammonia in. And the great thing about using that as a cleaning tool is the ammonia actually draws your pet, your dog back to that area. This is also a great tip for potty accidents. If potty ha accidents happen inside or in the area where you don't want your pet to go potty, don't use those cleaning products at that area because the, it has ammonia in, which will then draw them back to that area. And then tip number five, because it's artificial grass and depending on how your balcony looks and what your, what your situation is like, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a cleaning schedule because you need to make sure that it stays hygienic for your puppy. So what we do is we would roll up the artificial grass and then clean the bottom and then we would roll the grass out, spray some of the cleaner there, give it a good sweep with the outside broom and then make sure that it dries completely. And having a cleaning schedule is going to ensure that there's not going to be any smells or odor or anything that's left over. Another thing is if you live in an apartment that doesn't have a balcony, listen, if it's pet friendly and you have a schedule to taking them outside and anything, then I would say go for it. You also get these little uh, patches of artificial grass that is a designated potty area for them that actually absorbs when they go potty there that you can keep in your apartment. So there are options available for everyone. We're living in the 21st century, so nothing should be stopping you from getting that puppy and giving that puppy the best life that you possibly can. So that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure you click on this link here because it's going to take you to my video on crate train and how I crate trained my puppy within a couple of days. I hope this helped a couple of parents or soon to be new poor parents. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day.